at Harvard U N I V E R S I T Y and a pose as commencement in late May. President Drew Faust debated or addressed a free speech with warnings about the dangers of censorship. And quote if some words are to be treated as equivalent to physical violence and silenced or even prosecuted, who is to decide which words and quote, Faust asked. It was an intervention in defense of free expression at a moment when campus politics nationwide are often driven by cycles of provocation, offense and administrative problem solving. That turbulent pattern also plays out in small scale online, even at the level of campus specific and quote memes and quote which are visual jokes designed to poke fun at college life. This weekend, the Harvard Crimson reported that at least 10 admitted students had seen their admission affairs revoked due to the memes they shared online with one another in a private message group. The students in question were engaged in a very common practice, they reportedly joined a Facebook group message for incoming freshmen for sharing memes about Harvard and pop culture. But the university found that these students took part in a second group message where they shared other memes calculated for maximum offense, using images of SpongeBob SquarePants and Pikachu, for instance, to make light of suicide, child abuse and racial and religious minorities. Harvard said IT DOESN and a post T comment on individual admissions decisions. But university policy dictates that it can change those decisions based on and quot behavior that brings into question STUDNTS and APOS, honesty, maturity or moral character. And quote, as on Lynn phenomena go, meme sharing seems almost geriatric. But IT and APOS is enjoying a renaissance in college campuses. A Facebook page for memes tailored for UC Berkeley took off late last year, and the idea was copied again and again nationwide. The one at Harvard started a few months later. It promises and quote Harvard memes for elitist 1% TWEENS and quote and has more than 30,000 members. These memes posted publicly there are mostly innocuous and in a timeless tradition of college humor, jokes about cafeteria food, disappointment academic and romantic, and the tendency for certain graduates to go on to jobs at Goldman Sachs. Rising Harvard sophomore Rebecca Chan founded and administers the group. She considers herself a connoisseur of a good meme. And quote I like to compare memes to a successful marketing campaign. THEY and APOs were usually pretty personal, pretty relevant relatable and quote, Chan said. Then she added and quote also, I and APOs am just a funny person. UCAN and APOs T explained genius. And quote, Chan also says good memes tend to punch up skewering HARVARD and APOs as privilege or reminding overwhelmed students that THEY and APOs re not alone. Clearly, her Facebook group has united Harvard students and outsiders in laughing at college and themselves. A wide array of students agreed Monday that the memes that led to the rescinded admissions were something else entirely beyond the pale. But like all exercises in comic one-upsmanship, meme pages are occasionally host to transgressive humor. A Berkeley blog post recommends memes be and quote slightly offensive. And quote, That leads to some debate among students about the decision to rescind admission, especially after what President Faust had to say at commencement. She had argued that the election of Donald Trump, itself partly powered by inflammatory memes, was a wake-up call, an invitation to listen to more ideas, including and quote hateful ideas and quote, if only so students called better and quote oppose and defeat them. And quote, Will Morris Issa Rising Senor Wo describes himself as an and quote outspoken moderate and quote, easily mistaken for a conservative on a liberal campus. H.E. and A. Pose S. Clear that he sees the images shared by the incoming as and quote very wrong and quote, but that the contradiction leaves Harvard in an uncomfortable position. And quote I do think I.T. and A. Pose S. Kind of hypocritical on the part of the university too, on the one hand, at graduation talk about free speech and then expel sick people for WHAT and a pose as arguably freedom of speech and quote, Morris said. As a matter of university policy, the decision to revoke offers of admission is final. But this decision leaves behind questions of where to draw the line in a campus environment that students like Morris describe as sometimes stifling in its policing of speech. Chen watches the Facebook group along with other moderators and she says Harvard students are indeed pretty vocal when they find something offensive, compared to the pagey at Berkeley, for example. If the fuss over a given meme jet's big enough, moderators take it down. Or else they leave it up she says stage it yelled at either way.